Hi everyone. Look what came in my mail. It actually came yesterday, but I didn't get it out of the mailbox until this morning. So my paper pumpkin kit is here for January. It is called Sending Hearts. And I am so excited to get this because I've had the add-on kit that is available to paper pumpkin subscribers now on the main Stampin' Up! website, which makes these adorable little boxes. I didn't decorate it yet because I wanted to see how it coordinates with the kit. So I'm so excited. I have not opened the box. I just took the plastic over wrap off. Ooh, ooh, what's this? Oh my gosh, we got a spool of ribbon. It looks to be black, which goes with the boxes. How cool. Oh my gosh. All right, here is the stamp set. Let me get a piece of something, card. Maybe I have some red here, or maybe Melon Mambo would be. Nope, that's not going to work. Mm. Oh gosh. Let's see if we can see it through that. Yeah, pretty good. So we have this pretty heart full of hearts. XOXO, be mine, sending love your way, you, um, be. Oh, hi Valentine, sorry, and love, so love you, or be mine, you be mine, kind of thing, and some flowers, and the little snail with the heart, ooh, he's so cute, he's so cute, <laughs> or she, and, huh, the color is Poppy Parade, which I was not expecting that, I was expecting more like Melon Mambo or something, I don't know, so, and then a whole spool of black ribbon, oh my goodness, that's unusual we don't usually get that i don't know how much is on it but it looks pretty full i don't know okay so this is talking about the add-on which makes 20 uh, has print 20 printed mini boxes and 24 decorative die cut labels so really super cute and it has the little snails in i uh, see they're a lighter shade that's why i really wasn't expecting poppy parade yeah, so that's the paper, and then of course here is the the typical pool party color tissue. Sorry for the crinkling. Oh, I have to. Here we go. Let me get rid of the box. I'm so excited about this. I don't know why. I'm just for this month. I'm really. Ooh, that looks pretty. I like that design. Um. I, I'm really excited about this and I'm not big into Valentine's because I just have my granddaughters and daughter and son you know to send to so I don't have oh sorry 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 I don't have a Valentine so yeah anyway no pity party just stating a fact um okay so here we are this is what we got Sending hearts instructions, aren't they cute? So this makes cards, uh, contains supplies for eight cards and eight envelopes. Isn't that pretty? Very cute. And there's the heart with the hearts. And then on the back, they give you some alternatives. Uh, they've made some little envelopes and things and different cards. Cute, cute. And here is... Uh, pictures again of the cards on the front. I like how they have this black strip down, like a border strip on them. Okay, so it says it includes the photopolymer stamp set. Yep, got that. Poppy Parade Classic Stamp and File, which I don't think I have that one, honestly. Printed card. Okay, so let's see. We have dimensionals. We have stickers. These are in petal pink. So the colors are basic black, gold foil, petal pink and I would not have thought to pair those two Pet poppy parade love the poppy parade and well, oh they're solid poppy parade so there's probably eight of them I'm sure um, smoky slate and white so basic black gold foil petal pink poppy parade smoky slate which is like a gray blue and white and here are the card bases we have oh they're front and back so there's four of that pattern and there's four of the petal pink striped pattern how pretty is that then some labels which these actually match the labels the uh, petal pink 
you know, this had um, Petal Pink labels also in the add-on. And then we have some love words, and these are the black borders. I don't know if you can see like that. And then also some glue dots. So let's see, did I get everything? Resin hearts, dimensionals, adhesive dot, printed foil die cuts. Oh, I missed those over here. Oh, that's just a whole die cut piece. And this is the foil heart die cuts, and there's probably four of those. Yeah, four of each of these um, printed die cuts and labels. That's the, here's the labels, and then these are the die, other die cuts. And there's actually little labels here too, white little labels, and borders, and the word love. So lots of things to play with. So, let me get organized and we'll make one of each card as intended. That's what I do when I do my unboxing. And maybe we'll make, um, we'll finish that one little box I started um, with some of the things that came with it. And that'll be it from the add-on. All right, so I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, I'm back. Let me just fix this slightly. Um, I have the first card out. The first one we're going to do is this. I have the rest out too, and I've read the instructions thoroughly, and I'm glad I did because I almost missed a sentiment. So we're going to use this petal pink card base first, and we have to do our stamping. So, oops, this goes with the other one. So we're going to use the U. I'm going to use my um, sorry, larger poppy parade just because I have it, you know, um, instead of the stampin' spot, but you can use yours from the kit. And we're using the poppy parade on the little U label. Sorry if my hair gets in the way, but I have trouble seeing because that's pretty little. There we go. And then we're going to stamp this beautiful heart. Um, and into this gold foiled heart. Hopefully my ink pad is nice and moist. I think it is. I have to stand up so I can see to do this. Well, I got a little off, but we're going to go with it. And um, then I think, let me close my ink pad up. That's the stamping on this one, unless you want to put something inside. Then it says to adhere this with um, your glue dots. I'm actually going to use liquid glue just because I have it and it's easier for me. But I'm just going to put a thin line. You could also use your seal to do this um, or your glue dots. I mean, in the kit you get glue dots, so go ahead and use those. But for video and you know, being faster, I got a little too much glue on that. Oops, and I'm trying to get it straight. That looks pretty good. I'm just going to push it down here good. Um, and then we're supposed to put the love on here. Now you can do that with dimensionals. Also, um, just a little note, the back of the instruction sheet doesn't even say about ribbon. But they did include it because the pictures do have it. So they give you quite a bit. And this is enough to, you're supposed to, oops, wrap this around here. Oops. And tie a bow over on this side. Now you can stick this down with um, your glue dots if you want to. I'm going to try and do it. I need more on this side. Um, I'm going to try and do it without the glue dot. I don't know. I'm not the best bow tire, so bear with me. Um, and you want it down, partway down the heart, it looks like. But they said to cut 15 inches for this one and 9 inches for the other one of the ribbon. Because that one you just tie, oof, just tie a bow. <laughs> Easier said than done, she says. Um, you could probably, oops, 
just tie a bow on this one too. You know what? I'm actually going to use a glue dot as well. I'm going to use my roll of glue dots and I'm going to put one down on the card right over here. And that way, when I put this down, it'll stick right there. There. And uh, that'll make it easier, <clears throat> easier for me to tie a bow. So there is a little tip for you which I don't think they said in the instructions. But that's how Deb's going to do it. So if you have trouble like I do, uh, doing the wrap around tie a bow thing ugh, like this. Just, I made this a little too short. You know what? I'm going to make that be the first part of the bow. And then this one can wrap around. Try and get your ribbons even to tie the bow. Sorry, I'm fumbling with this a little bit. Next one should be easier. There we go. A little bit twisted, but it's not too bad. There. And I'm going to pull this a little tighter. Just fiddle with your bow till you get it the way you want it. <laughs> and that might take me a little while, but I'm not going to keep you to that. So I'm going to just cut the tail off of this one a little bit. Okay. And be done with it. And now we're going to put our love up on dimensionals. We're going to put this, I think we'll just glue this down and we'll put the love up on dimensionals. Let's see how they have it. Yeah, they have it going over the ribbon and sort of like this, this, this guy is not supposed to be like that. There we go. Okay, like this. Um, so we're going to use dimensionals on this. But let me glue this down. You could use dimensionals. And try and make sure it stay, stays straight. Ugh, I got glue on there. So sorry, guys. I'll clean that up later. And then I have an open packet dim dimensional, so I'm going to use those. And just get the, the love on. Um, but they did, did give you, in the kit, they gave you regular size dimensionals. I don't think, I could, I think I'm going to cut one in half. You could use minis if you have them, and I do. But since they didn't come in the kit, you could cut one in half if you want it to be sturdier there. And I don't know that that's going to fit there. I'm just going to put this here. All right. Um, I probably did too many, you know, that's how I am. <laughs> that's how I roll. I like my dimensionals and I would probably put a mini on that L part. And then they have that going like this somewhat. And then the U, there is a tip in the instructions. It says to put, let me look it up and I'll show you, um, two dimensionals on the right. Let's see where it is here. On the U label, adhere two dimensionals on the right and one on the left side. This will allow the sentiment to adhere evenly. I'm not sure why that is, other than they have it. Oh, I see, because they have it overlapping here. So they want you to put two dimensionals. Now, the thing is, these are regular size dimensionals, and I think they're barely going to fit on here. Yeah, if you get them on straight, maybe. If you have mini dimensionals, I would recommend those. In fact, I'm going to pull mine out. Um, and I think I would not use a dimensional on the left at all. Maybe a piece of one down at the bottom down here. But... Um, and I'm going to trim them off, actually, because it's it's uh, overlapping here. So I would just put a dab of glue. Yeah, I got that. I don't like my dimensionals to stick out. So I would actually, with you, if you don't have minis, I would cut your dimensionals in half to do this one, um, and put two over here, like they said. And if you put one on the 
left put it on the bottom left and then just put a dab of glue up here it depends on how you position your love word but that's how it's going to go on here okay and that uh, now the last thing they do is they put um, a heart on they put one up here and a little one up here like a medium sized one and you can get them off with your um, tweezers or take your pick tool and then one I think they put down here a little one just to add dimension to the hearts that are already on the the card mat and that is the first card not too hard I need my glue eraser though because since I use glue I got a mess and uh, there we go I might have to touch up a few other spots that you wouldn't have to do if you're using your um, glue dots okay all right so let's do the second one <laughs> see if we do better with that one huh all right let me put that back here here's the second one let me just take my bone folder which I've misplaced I tend to put it back in the wrong oh it's under here that's why hang on no wonder my thing is uneven it's sliding all around right one second guys okay I'm back with the second card so we have to stamp um, sending you sending love your way excuse me which you could send to anyone right a friend or whatever and I'm just gonna stamp that right on the label there we go that one came out pretty good and then actually we have to leave that open we're supposed to also stamp confetti and that's on here so let me just before I stamp that see how they did that they have the heart hmm <laughs> they have the heart going down close to the mailbox here yeah okay all right so like that it was throwing me off in the picture a little bit because they have the stars and hearts in petal pink also and uh yeah i wasn't sure where they came from but they're actually the puffy stickers the resin stickers so let me put my ink away and i already saved you the um <laughs> me struggling with the bow although i got it pretty easy this time this was a nine inch piece of ribbon and i did end up cutting off, cutting off just a tiny little bit on the end so um now we also have a black um, border to put on with this one and you know what i'm gonna go ahead and use glue dots on this but i will use my take your pick tool and my glue dot roll and i am going to put them on the back of here just three of them oops they have them along that side let's see if i can do this and i want them pretty close to the edge all right it's going to be easier to do it without the tool i think but but I have trouble doing it without the tool because then I don't get it as close to the edge as I wanted. That one went pretty good. And one up here in the corner. And I think that's all we'll need. So again, you have glue dots in your... Um, and then you want the black side down. I mean, I'm going to turn it over. Let me get my silicone mat also. And we'll do it like this so we can try and make sure we get it even there we go pretty good we can get rid of that now and then I am once again going to glue this down try and go a little easier on the glue not so close to the edge right 
and you can use your dots again or dimensionals you can pop this up too and then we're going to use a glue dot and put our ribbon down and that is going to go over here let's see i think this way there and then we're going to use our dimensionals on this piece here and pretty easy very simple cards but very pretty i like them perfect for you know valentine's day or just sending love to somebody right that might need a little love and then the last thing again is to embellish it with our hearts so how they have they have a star up here and a little star down here and a little heart right here we'll put it this way since that one's going that way actually i'm going to move that in just a little bit under that flower there we go so there's our three embellishments on that one and also i'm going to put like a medium heart right on this little envelope here and that's about it i think so we use four on that but that just is makes it cute right I don't like using even numbers, but I want to see how long, how far my, um, and that looks like it moved. Oh, well. So that's, that's the cards, guys. Um, really cute. Now let me get the add-on box out. And I did already show putting this together in a live, but maybe I'll do another one. And there is a stamp in this kit with the snail that matches the ones in the add-on kit. Let me get one more box and we'll do one together or two together maybe so let me move the cards out of the way and pull up the add-on sheet so it's all pre-scored and everything for you you just need to bend everything and you can use your bone folder and crease it better um, probably should actually <laughs> and then this one let me get my bone folder and this has two creases because you're going to end up going like this and with the tabs bent in so bend your tabs in both of them and let's get these creases going all right okay um so all you do then is make sure these side flaps are in first right and put this little piece over those side flaps and there's a hole in the bottom if you can see the hole and this will tuck into there and that is pretty much it and then oops let's see i got i didn't get this one in right let me open that again make sure your little tag your flaps are in there there we go there we are and then this just tucks into it like that really adorable and you could fit probably like two hershey minis in here or you could just i don't know put whatever you like little love note in it or something so then what we have in the add-on kit are these adorable little snails which by the way coordinate i'm sure with the snail it kit right snail mail kit uh not kit sweet in the um, mini catalog the 2021 mini catalog and we do get some labels here so we can use um them and some ribbon and you could use they used actually on let me show you this they used a piece of the card base from the the paper pumpkin kit and same here and this one just used a love but i like using this xoxo 
Now they did it on um, red cardstock and it looks like they heat embossed with white or used the white. Um, oh gosh, I can't even think. Ink, the white craft ink. I think we'll just keep it easy. We'll use the XOXO and Poppy Parade ink um, because I'm not doing alternatives really right now. <laughs> And those will probably come on the weekend, um, this weekend, in a separate video. Tomorrow is kind of a non-paper crafting day for me. I'm going to put it over here. And let's see what the other sentiments are. Oh, we have a love stamp, but that's not going to fit on here. I could put Hi Valentine or Be Mine. I'll put Hi Valentine. I need another stamp block. I'll put that one on here. But they do use the ribbon from the kit. Okay, I need to clean my stamps, but I'll do that after. Alrighty, so um, we will just keep it simple on these two, like I said, and I think we're going to go ahead and wrap ribbon around and tie it first. Yikes! <laughs> and I might get out like a piece of um, pool party or something to go with this, actually. So let me cut, I don't know, let's just wrap it and tie it. I'm just going to tie a simple bow over here. So let me cut that off. I don't know, about 12 inches or so, 12 or 15, to do a simple little bow over here. I would go for 15. I think I only cut 12, and it's going to be a little tight. Yeah, it's going to be a little tight. I'm just going to tie a knot on this one. Actually, let me even it out a little more. Maybe it'll work. Let me tie a knot. Even though I don't have anything in there yet. Yikes. <laughs> All right. We're not going to do this on the next one. Okay, never mind. We're not going to do it on this one either. We're just going to do that for now and cut these off. You can tie a pretty bow. <laughs> I don't want to keep you on this. This is just to give you an idea. And then what we'll do is we'll stick this down with um, glue dots. Right on here. And then I think I'm going to use this little guy and put him up on dimensionals. And I'm going to use some little dimensional, the minis, uh, for up here at the top. You can cut your big ones in half and two down here. And that works just as well, or even your edge pieces, you know, cut little slivers off the edge pieces. And we'll just put him right here. So isn't that cute? Don't really need a bow. <laughs> And then here, um, I don't know if I have pool party here. Let me see. Oh, I do. Let me see if I have a scrap of pool party that we can use. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut a little tag using the tag, essential tag punch that is carrying over from the 2020 um august to december holiday catalog they don't call it holiday catalog anymore but basically it is and so i think we'll just um let me see if i can stamp something on there where's that confetti let me clean my stamp one second and because i want to stamp in pool party with the confetti this time and we'll just do a little design on this tag 
um, tone on tone. So it's sort of an alternative a little bit, right? And um, we'll just do that in here. Let's see if we can do this. Like this. And we'll stamp off a little bit the edges. <laughs> Got to... And I'll turn this one and do this way. And maybe one more up here, even though that'll probably get um, covered. All right. Now you could use your poppy parade on there too. Not a problem. I'm not going to make you suffer through me tying a bow again. So I'm going to put this down with the glue dots. You can also use wet glue, or you can use dimensionals if you if you choose to. Actually, why don't we do this one? Why don't we do this one this way? It'd be a little different this time. And eh, eh, not sure I like that. It's okay. Yeah, we'll do it like that and I'm gonna actually just tie a tiny little bow up here and put it on here and leave it not wrapped around the box or we could use twine but let's do it this way so I am going to put this down with glue dots also oops and we'll just use two and then we'll put this back up on dimensionals too. So this that I'm using right now is the add-on kit that is available. I believe it was eight US dollars. Um, and I think I am actually going to cut a mini in half here. Maybe. Maybe not. I have misplaced my scissors. <laughs> there they are. They fell down in there. Um, actually, I'll just cut a little piece off here and cut that in half because I don't like the tippy top there being, oops, being um, without a dimensional. <laughs> Put the other half of it there. Okay. And then just take these off. And you can use your pointy part of your pick tool to get these off. I've seen a lot of people do that. It's just easier for me to use my fingers somehow. And the snail mail um, comes in, uh, comes with, uh, in the suite, comes with some pink and white twine. It's Blushing Bride. I guess we'll tie just a tiny little bow on here. Even could be just a fake, fake knot bow. Let's just do that, a little knot. Let's tie a little knot. <laughs> so this is a quarter inch, I think. It might even be an eighth inch. Looks to be about a quarter inch. So I'm just going to tie a little tiny fake bow. Just a knot bow, really. A knot a bow. And we'll use a um, glue dot. And we're just going to stick that down right here. So there we go. Maybe cut that down a little bit. A little bit more. Almost looks like a crow flying there. We don't want that. Just a tiny little bow on there. There we go. Alrighty. So those... Oh, now wait. We need an embellishment on there, don't we? Let me push these aside over here. So those are our two boxes that are not exactly as they did and then two of these and i would just add maybe let's see maybe this little heart here on where would i put it right in his now i guess i'll put it right up here right there soften that edge a little bit i'd rather use them on the cards and on this one hmm hmm <laughs> 
I guess I'll just use this little one that's sticking out here and put it right here. All right, and that's all we'll do on there. So there, really cute, right? I hope you enjoyed that. Now it's too late to get this kit. You would have had to sign up by January 10th, but don't miss out on next month's kit. It is all about sending hope and, um, yeah, basically sending hope to others that uh, may need some encouragement in this day and age so i'm anxious to see that it's going to be more of a floral and I'll, I'll share that more information on that tonight on my live at 7 p.m it is wednesday the 20th of january i normally do my live streams on tuesday evenings but i had some things come up yesterday relative to my car and things so i um i didn't get done in time but we'll have it tonight at 7 p.m so please come back and join me and i'll have alternatives for you using all the products the add-on and the card bases and whatnot from the paper pumpkin kit uh, sometime this weekend i'm not sure which day saturday or sunday all right talk to you soon hugs love and peace thank you for watching